Hi everyone and welcome to Vlogmas Day 4. My name is Rachel and this is The French Seams. So it is now currently 10 to 11 p.m. and I'm only getting a chance to sit down and talk to you lovely people now. Today has just been nuts. So the weather today in Dublin was just atrocious. There was rain, there was hailstones, there was sleet. It's been freezing cold. So my husband spent the day painting. I, I feel like this is just a recurring motif with me. Um, so I took um, our two little boys to the aquarium this morning, which I'd never been to before. And it's in a seaside town called Bray, which is um, just south of us here. And the weather was just awful. Thank God I got parking close by because it was just the most torrential downpours. So I took them both to that, which they seem to really enjoy. I'll pop up um, a bit of footage here. It was really, really good. Actually, it was quite nice. And then afterwards, we went for a sneaky hot chocolate. And then came home and then I just spent the rest of the day just entertaining the two boys here because we were just completely, we were just stuck indoors all day. We just couldn't venture out at all. The weather was that, that, that bad. It was just terrible. So, so by the time finally dinner rocked around, got them both off to bed, da -da, I then just had to do some sewing to kind of restore the equilibrium. I'm sure you know what I mean. So I cut out my Marlowe sweater. So I've now decided to make a size two in the Marlowe sweater. My measurements put me in about a size 8 to 10 to 12, so we'll see how that goes. So fingers crossed that I've got the sizing correct on that. Then I've also cut out my Kilo wrap dress in this beautiful uh, navy jacquard fabric from my Beyond the Pink Door subscription box a few months ago. So that's um, the knee length full sleeve Kilo wrap dress, so very excited about that. The reason I'm sitting here is and the curtains. So. I, I knew you people would keep me honest and this has just been wonderful. So yes, here's they are in all their glory. Here's they are. Here they are. So I'm not quite sure can I pan you down. Probably not. But yeah, they're hemmed. I promise they really are. And then if I swivel you without you getting too car sick, this is the new bench seat and they're the cushions and this is just a little advent calendar for the boys. So yes, the curtains are done. If I can pan up, I'll show you the little... Sorry, no, this is very unprofessional. If I can pan you up. No, I can't, can I? Whoa. Oh dear, this is terrible. No, if I do it like this, you can see the little rings at the top. So that's what they look like up there. So just to prove to you they are curtains. I don't know why you wouldn't believe that they're not curtains. Anyway, um, in other news, this is my latest make. This is my Freya, my bauble Freya. I'll just pan you down ever so slightly again. Um, that I finished, which I love. So this is it. So just the long sleeve version with the cowl. And, and I, underneath here, I've got my little rosy cheeks beyond the pink door label that came in the advent calendar on the first day. So I just loved wearing this today. Obviously I've got a thermal vest on underneath, but I just love it and the fabric is so beautiful and it's these little baubles and they're kind of glittery and shiny and oh, I just love it. I absolutely love it. Anyway, um, on to the main business, which is the advent calendar. So today is day four. So it's a little teeny weeny one. So let's see what it is. And thank you so much to um, all the people who watched and um, liked and commented on my day one, two and three vlogmas that I put up yesterday. So thank you so, so, so much. I know there's just been so many vlogmases this year. My my phone has just been beeping constantly with them coming in. So I'm desperately trying to catch up with them. So yeah, but it's just great. I love seeing what people are getting up to. Anyway, um, what is this? Oh, fabulous. So it's a little seam gauge. It's what you put on your um, sewing machine on the metallic little throat plate to uh, to measure out your seam allowance. So I have one of these, but it's a little tiny measuring tape and I just find it the most brilliant thing ever. So if you see it, I think it's on a previous vlog of mine. So this one is a little sewing machine and these are just brilliant. I put this actually up um, on the Instagram um, on the on Instagram a few weeks ago saying you don't need to do any more with washi tape or markings on your machines at all. You just put this down, say you want to do five eighths of an inch or half an inch of it, you just lay it down next to your, um, your needle on your sewing machine and it keeps your fabric completely in line and it is just a game changer. So I'm so pleased with that. Thank you so much. You can never have too many of these. That's wonderful. Thank you so much, Andrea. That's fabulous. So that's all I've got uh, time for this evening. So I better do a quick whiz round and then head off to bed. So I'm working tomorrow. So we've got a bit of a busy week, but I think I'll catch up with you again in the morning to do Vlogmas day five. Good night, everyone. Hi, everyone. So it's now three minutes to eight. What a day. I'll tell you all about it now shortly. But uh, a few of you have asked about our renovations and this is part of our new kitchen. And you can see my favorite bit just up here. 
So I'll catch up with you again in a few minutes. Good evening, everyone. So this is Vlogmas Day 5. So it's now just after 8 o'clock. The two boys are in bed. So as I mentioned earlier, today was very, very busy because uh, last night our younger boy, so he's 22 months, he'll be two in February, he didn't sleep a wink. So that meant that none of us slept a wink last night. Um, I think he just has a bit of a cold. So we kept him home from crash today, but that meant that both myself and my husband worked from home today. And then between us, we kind of give each other time to work and the other person minds him. And so it gets quite challenging, as I'm sure you can um, appreciate. So it was a very, very busy day. And um, so only just kind of getting things back in order now for today. So apologies for the content yesterday and today. So it's quite subdued, but Vlogmas is about real life and this is my real life, I'm afraid. So uh, between working and looking after him today, um, just settling down now. So I'm looking forward to going down to sit on the couch and watching some uh, Vlogmas videos because I've, I've just got a backlog now at this stage and I'm going to continue on my felt nutcracker which I started the other night which is just brilliant and I can't wait to see it done up it's going to be super cute. So my advent calendar for today um, number five so I can absolutely guess what these are straight out yeah so great little gift and something that we all need all the time and it is yep beautiful pins oh and they're gorgeous colours oh I love those colours I don't have those they are beautiful so that'll be going straight in my pin dish. That is wonderful. Thank you very much for day number five. Um, in other news, I was recently in Aldi and I think I mentioned before that they have fabulous fat quarters. And I was in there and they had Christmas fat quarters. So of course I had to buy a few. So um, one of the little bundles um, is kind of a more kind of pastel palette. And it is this beautiful gingerbread one, which I just love. And then ones with little Christmas trees. And then I love this kind of candy cane one. And then there is a very cute one with penguins and bears and Christmas trees and polar bears, which is very cute. And they're lovely. Do they call this a blender? I'm not quite sure. Is that what a blender is? Basically kind of the same colour palette, I think. I don't know much about quilting, but so they are beautiful. I love them. And then the other little pack I got was these ones. So beautiful little be berries, bellies, berries. And this lovely bauble one, I really, really like that one. And then again, just a plain navy one. And this one with little Christmas trees, kind of funky designs. And this one, which is my favourite. It has nutcrackers, but it also has pine cones and mistletoe, which I think is beautiful. So um, I keep going back to it, but at our wedding, we had um, a pine cone theme. So I'm very, very partial to pine cones as well. So I just thought they were really cute and wanted to show you those. Um, I also get an awful lot of comments about this. So this is a little crochet blanket I made the end of last summer, I think. So from my granny, um, I got a lovely ball of this kind of wool that changes colour. So I, I don't crochet. I'm, I'm not very good at crochet at all, but I wanted to give it a go. So I found this pattern for this kind of chevron design and it works really, really well in these colours. So I made this and it's just a little kind of a lap blanket kind of thing that I have on my work chair, which I really, really like. So I mentioned what I'm wearing today. This is my Billy dress with a Freya cowl neck hack that I made uh, last Christmas actually, and I absolutely love it. So the fabric is from um, Beyond the Pink Door and it's a kind of a glittery leopard print. And then the coughing is a kind of glittery stuff also from Beyond the Pink Door, which I just love. And yeah, I just, I love this dress so much. So in it's got pockets. And I put in the little label saying make from my Kylie the Machine advent calendar, which it looks so good this year. I'm so regretting not getting a Kylie the Machine advent calendar this year. The labels look absolutely beautiful. But anyway, so yeah, I just love this dress and it comes out every Christmas and it's lovely and warm and it's just perfect for this time of year. So yeah, I love it. This fabric is, I think it's, um, is it a soft sweat or something? It's kind of fluffy on the inside, but it's just lovely. I really, really enjoy wearing it. So I think that's all for me today. So uh, very, very quick. I'm going to see if I can get this up for you tomorrow, which is going to be, that's my husband painting, um, which is going to be Tuesday. So I hopefully um, I'll get this up to you. Then um, I've got a busy few days ahead, but more on that tomorrow. And um, aside from that, yeah, I hope you're all well. And if you have enjoyed these videos, I'd love it if you gave me a thumbs up. Um, I hope you do enjoy this style of Vlogmas. It's very difficult to kind of gauge if I do them um, every couple of days, but I really, really hope you do enjoy it. And I certainly do love watching other people's Vlogmases as well. So if you'd like to leave a comment or like to um, ask me a question or anything, please, I'll be happy to answer. So please leave that in the comment box below. But aside from that, I will catch up with you again over the next few days. Take care. Bye.